honestly, the topic of this video does not surprise me, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't surprise you, nor anyone on the internet who has been very focused on the COVID-19 situation. But the very fact that Pro Project Veritas managed to get a recording of what the executives of Pfizer actually mean to not only gain a function, but potentially to mutate the virus to preemptively create new vaccines, it's just, by God, it's really insane. And, the, and of course, what is even more insane is the many, I'm just going to say, it, conspiracy theories in regards to Project Veritas. Not Pfizer, you hear. Project Veritas claiming that this was staged. And don't worry, I will get, in, get into that. My God, is this really insane. I'm, I'm going to read an article from Como News because not many people who are talking about Pfizer or, or the coronavirus are not talking about this story. Gee, I wonder why that's the case. So, let's get into it. An undercover investigation from Project Veritas reportedly caught an unsuspecting Pfizer executive admitting his suspicions about the origins of the COVID-19 virus, which has killed nearly 7 million people worldwide since being introduced. By the way, if you think about it, 7 million against a population of 8 billion, it's not really that much. I'm not trying to try to disregard that that number is still a pretty large number but it's small in comparison to the entire planet but still so still it's not really it's really small but continue on <clears throat> jordan tristan walker who is allegedly pfizer's director of research and development strategic operations and mrna scientific planning was apparently caught on an undercover recording admitting that he and other Pfizer executives had discussed mutating COVID viruses in order to develop tailored vaccines to treat them. You know how the virus keeps mutating? Well, one of the things we're exploring is like, why don't we just mutate it ourselves so we could create, preemptively build new vaccines, right? Walker can be heard saying to Project Veritas undercover in the investigator, if we're going to do that, though, there's a risk of like... As you could imagine, no one wants to be having a pharma company mutating fucking viruses. So, that's like one of the things we're considering for, like, the future. Which is insane to me. Don't get me wrong, I, I understand the need for research and development of, of diseases and in order to produce new vaccines. But the very fact that, that this is Pfizer we're talking about, we're, who, and the very fact that COVID-19, COVID there's been talks about and now potential evidence thanks to early investigations showing the possibility of the virus actually coming out of the Wuhan lab, it just kind of concerns me. Especially when a lot of that research happens to be done in, in China, as I recall. Now, Walker went on to describe scientific experiments of infecting monkeys with the virus so that researchers could then actively mutate the most severe infections and force it to mutate in a certain way you want it. But you have to be, like, very controlled to make sure this virus that you mutate doesn't create something that, like you know, goes everywhere. Walker did it, which I suspect is the way that the rule had start. Why? Sorry. Which I suspect is the way that the virus started in Wuhan. To be honest, like, it makes no sense that this virus just popped out of nowhere. It's bullshit. Now, he, now a vice president just admitted that this came from a lab. And it makes no sense that it came from nature. It just does not make any sense. And a lot of people have actually said this, but of course, they were called conspiracy theorists by people in the media, by politicians, what whatsoever, for just potentially pointing out that point out that fact, or even calling them science deniers. My God, I really, I really hate the state of politics that the world is in, but because of this, it just what. They just immediately shut that down before eventually, about a year or two afterwards, they slowly retracted that to eventually, till they eventually said, yeah, there's a possibility of the co of COVID-19 coming from the Wuhan lab. <coughs> anyway, Walker isn't alone in his suspicions. A group of scientists and experts assembled by the WHO, World Health Organization, released a report last summer indicating indicating a potential Chinese lab break. While ridiculed as a fringe or conspiracy theory remains a possibility. By the way, wasn't it the WHO who actually talked, worked with Chinese authorities and concluded that 
it did not come from a lab. Gee, it's kind of funny how they change their change their minds. Early investigations pointed to a Chinese seafood market as ground zero for a virus, but according to the WHO's researchers, there are key pieces of data keeping them from ruling out a lab leak. And considering, and last time I checked, considering the fact that this would damage the reputation of the Chinese Communist Party, gee, I wonder why they intentionally limited the research and investigation in regards to the, uh, the COVID-19, especially in the Wuhan province. I wonder why. And of course, nobody talks about it whatsoever. Hell, they're not even talking about, mainstream media is still not talking about this story. And even if they are, I've been hearing a lot of people, hear, been hearing people say that Project Veritas is actually making sh making this shit up, that it's staging the video. I don't understand where the conclusion is. I don't understand the accusation, nor have they brought up any, any evidence. Last time I checked, in order to actually have an accusation, you should at least have some evidence in order to back this up. Here's the thing. Project Veritas, while right-leaning, is, is an investigative journalistic company. And if they actually lied about this, which, let's just say that that were the case, let's just hear them out, that would damage Project Veritas's reputation. And they have been very well, very well known public figures within politics, especially in regards to how them how they've been reporting a lot of new stuff from COVID nineteen to the Chinese Communist Party to what situations going on within our own federal government. Well, I honestly think that. Project Veritas has more to lose than to gain if they are lying. Project, or well, not Project, Pfizer, the company Pfizer, actually has more to, more to gain when it comes to lying. They don't want this situation coming out. If it turns out that one of their labs in China actually did leak, what is, how does that look for them? And what does that look for them and, of course, their own profits? They've been gaining billions upon billions of dollars in regards to that. If I recall, this, back in 2022, they managed to gain $90 billion as a result. Of course, Joe Biden tried to tout, uh, tout to his supporters that we have been big pharma. Evidently not. <coughs> And they've been trying to, they have been highly influ influential, not just in Congress, but with Joe Biden and Kamal Harris, trying to promote, promote the vaccine, trying to promote mandatory vaccination. And I would not be surprised if they actually uh, supported lockdowns. They, I would not be surprised whatsoever. It makes sense to me. Hell, even as I go to work or go from work, come fr home from work, I listen to classic rock and roll. And I constantly hear advertisements about COVID-19 trying to get the vaccine. And guess what it says at the end? Sponsored by Pfizer and company. Now, I know that this story is trying to be buried. And I, and I would not be surprised if these, the these accusations about COVID, about Project Veritas are intentionally trying to do that. One, I don't think that's going to be successful because it's the age of the internet. A lot of people, especially a lot of independent media, me and myself, my, myself included as a political commentator, are actually reporting on this story. The mainstream media isn't. I'm willing to bet that this may potentially blow up across the internet. Maybe, I, I'm not entirely sure, that the mainstream media will potentially be forced to say, or even just to report on it, something similar to, like, Twitter. I, I could be entirely wrong. They could... They could easily say nothing at all, but nonetheless, it's just, nonetheless, this is just such a big story. I don't know what's going to happen. There could be an investigation by Congress. I know that Rand Paul has been a heavy critic of uh, Pfizer, and, and of course, with Anthony Fauci, who was directly involved with this from the days of Barack Obama. I really hope that there is an investigation going on that will occur, either from the House or from the Senate. I have no idea. And I honestly, I really hope that this explodes across the air, that a lot of people share this to the point that it may put the, may, that this could hopefully damage Pfizer's reputation. Because let's be honest, they are just getting too big. 
they are getting too too influential in regards to uh, in regards to political policy. And considering the fact that a lot of people who have been very concerned with things such as the possibility of this virus coming from a lab, and with a lot of people trying to hush it up, yeah, I would definitely think that that uh, Pfizer may have had a may partially have had a hand in it, as well as the mainstream media and of course the establishment because they're the ones who are trying to reap the rewards of this. But by God, I really hope that this comes back to to bite Pfizer's reputation in the ass. I have no idea for sure, but my God, I one can only hope. What thing is for sure, this recording further proves my distrust of them. And I really hope that this does cause a lot of people to turn on them as well. My name is Noah Meehan, and I'm the R-Truth. Please post your comments down below, like this video, subscribe, share, and press. If there's any improvements you want me to make at all, please post a do description down below or directly message me. And let's keep the truth rolling. Thank you. Almost heaven.